hello kings and queens and welcome to the second episode for this week so this week we are talking about another couple Osas Igodaro, I hope I pronounced that right, and Benro Ajibade. This couple met on the set of Tinsel, a Nigerian soap opera that has been showing since 2008. And they became an item, and in 2015, they got married. But recently, they divorced. What's, what's your family, I mean, <laughs> there's so many questions I have because, and I know you're I know it's a private issue, but it's, yeah. it stopped being a little private when you also made it sort of public. Because a lot of the drama that came on came from you, mm. from your page, from some posts you put up on your Instagram. It's just a, a post. It's just some posts. Just okay, just well, one. Was, so first of all, at that point, were you divorced already? Were you separated? I was that? as one of my accidental good girls. Well, just like her colleague, Lillian, Osas has been mute and silent about anything concerning her marriage since the outburst that Mero had last year on Instagram. So you, just, just for those who don't know, you put up a post saying, uh, talk, sort of talking about your ex-wife now, like you say, since you're divorced, you know, she had gone out or something at night and left your child, you said, and didn't attend to her and came, up, came home at 5 a.m. And you said, what sort of mother does that? Mero was in the United States of America, while Osas was in Nigeria. And people wondered, why a man who lives in America will be accusing his wife who lives in Nigeria of neglecting their daughter who lives in Nigeria. Simply put, Benro came out as a fuckboy. Perhaps he is not a fuckboy, but that was the impression that he gave. So what, what I was going to say is, first of all, I, I, I hope that women can understand why it's important not to marry weak men. I'm sorry, Mero Shade. is, and is, he is, Shade. he is the true definition of a weak First of all, a quick background on the relationship. So I said that they met on the set of Tinsel. Well, according to Osas, Mero never wanted to get married. When he met her, or when she met him, he was kind of like out there, having fun. She said, he told me that I was the one that made him consider marriage. There was something that I said during one of my videos that telling a woman or a man that he or she is the one that made you change your mind about something can be an act of manipulation. It doesn't mean that it is, it might actually be true, but there might be some manipulations going on. Even Osas had to come out at the beginning and defend Benro against the rumors that he had only married her because of her American citizenship, because he wanted a green card. So what went wrong along the way? We don't know. Osas hasn't said absolutely anything. Menro is the only person who has spoken out. So Osas once again comes across as this woman who has this very friendly, approachable, calm and meek, you know, outward appearance but it's actually very strong-minded. Perhaps it's because, well, she grew up in the United States of America and the society is very different. Even though she was born into a Nigerian family, the country certainly had her influence on her, which is why she doesn't see perhaps divorce as such a big deal. Nobody knows who initiated the divorce. Perhaps it was her, perhaps it was him, but the fact remains that she is divorced and being divorced in Nigeria is a big deal, especially for a woman. When marriage is everything a woman should aspire to, even at the height of her career, at the height of her financial achievement, if she is not married, a woman is still mocked for not having achieved anything. And these women are just walking out of their marriages just like that. Lillian is still having her divorce to sort out. But Osas has already sorted her out. She is now a divorced woman. But today I do not want to focus on Osas as being an accidental good girl. Instead, it is talking about the impression that Benro gives as a fuckboy. So fuckboys are these master manipulators. They are not interested in a relationship. They are not interested in commitments. They just want the prize. And you are the prize. No, no, not you, sorry. Sleeping with you is the price getting you to fall in love with them is the price getting you to chase after them is the price 
they are emotionally unavailable but they make you believe that they are and then when you fall head in love with them they just ghost you fuck boys are fond of doing grand gestures they might spend even the last money they have in their account to buy you a very expensive gift just to have you give them that one last chance to mess you up and then of course comes the withdrawal phase they start giving you excuses as to why they cannot talk to you they give you excuses as to why they cannot see you your presence becomes irritating to them and then you start wondering what the hell is going on what did i do wrong because he seems to be happy without you and now you are the miserable person in all of this and now the situation practically capsized at the beginning he was the one chasing after you now you are the person chasing after them but they don't want you anymore sometimes they just ghost you ghosting is when person exits your life without an explanation but i do not want to believe that Monroe is a fuckboy even though i did not support his outburst on instagram against his ex-wife I do not want to believe that he's the kind of person who will love bump a woman and then simply abandon her because of, you know, that is the way he is. He's a scorpion and a scorpion has to sting. I've got the opinion of a friend who told me that she got her information from a very reliable source and said that Mero really loved Osas and that his reason for moving to the United States was because he wanted to try his luck in Hollywood and was wishing that Osas at some point would join him over there. So, the question today is, do you think Mero Ajibade is a fuckboy? Let me know in the comment section. And that is a wrap for today. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.